Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neil Galvin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create my nursing educational videos to help nursing students and nursing professionals like you with their studies. If that is something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing educational videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If you're interested in that, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that would really help me know that you like to see more content like this. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. How are you guys? It's for the bagong week ng discussion nga ang alik sa inyo for today. And uh, like you see on the title of this video, it's all about mental health and psychiatric nursing, attention deficit hyperactive disorder. Now, before I further proceed to the um, uh, formal discussion. I would just like to welcome everybody who is new to my channel. How are you? I hope you enjoy your stay. Sa mga datihan na, kumusta ba ang pag-aaral nyo at ang pag-review nyo? Maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng mga mainit na pagsuporta at pagtanggap nyo sa channel ko sa patuloy at um, palagian yung pag-share ng videos ko. Maraming maraming salamat po. Hindi ko man kayo masuporta. Ay, masuporta. Hindi ko man kayo ma ma-replyan lahat, ma-replyan yung mga emails nyo. I just want you guys to know that I'm still gonna continue on making nursing educational videos uh, for you guys to serve as your study guide. All right. <clears throat> So, magpo-proceed na tayo. Handa na ba kayo? Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung mental health psychiatric nursing lecture material na ginawa ko, I'll be putting the playlist link on the description box kasama nung ibang mga playlist ko sa nursing. Napakarami ko na nga po. At uh, hindi ka mauubusan dito sa ating channel. Kaya naman, mag-subscribe ka na. And also, whenever the icon button pops out, when, every time or um, whenever, um, every time on this video, click the one out because I'll be putting some of the playlists playlist there uh, for you to serve as your reference. And I'm also happy to announce to you that uh, by early next year, I'm really pushing and planning to open my podcast account uh, and, um, you know, distribute it and uh, to all, you know, platforms like Spotify. So it's all about mental health. It's all about empowerment. It's all about, um, uh, you know, talking about our soul, spirituality. I love talking those those topics, and that's really close to my heart. And I'm sh I'm hoping that I'll see you guys there. So without further ado, eto na tayo magproceed na tayo. Nurses and healthcare providers usually present a fundamental role in the management of children with attention deficit hyperactive disorder, o yung kilala natin sa tawag na ADHD, a disorder that is characterized by a persistent pattern of intention and or hyperactive or impulsivity that interferes with functioning or development which often persists into adolescent and adulthood. The diagnosis of ADHD demands thorough history-taking, application of standardized rating scales, and close attention to the patient's behavior and subject's reports. This study guide gives you an overview of ADHD, its nursing care management interventions, and assessment. This is going to be your complete guide to ADHD. Handa ka na ba? Handa na. Let me give you the objectives for our today's discussion. So what is ADHD? We're going to tackle that. The causes, assessment and diagnostic findings, medical management that includes your pharmacologic management, nursing management which involves your nursing assessment and nursing interventions. Galagalaw, hinga hinga, eto na. What is ADHD? Let's define this um, type of disorder. Now, ADHD is a developmental condition of intention and distractibility, uh, distractibility with or without accompanying hyperactivity. Again, developmental condition of intention and distractibility Distractable, na nawawala sila sa focus, with or without accompanying hyperactivity. Alright, ADHD is characterized by inattentiveness, overactivity, and impulsiveness. ADHD is a common disorder, especially in boys, and probably accounts for more child mental 
the health referrals than any other single disorder. The essential future of ADHD is a persistent, or the essential feature, I mean, of ADHD is a persistent pattern of intention and or hyperactivity and impulsivity more common than generally observed in children of the same age. This is the clinical definition of your ADHD. Proceed na tayo. What are the causes of ADHD? Attention Deficit Hyperactive Disorder. Now, the possible causes of ADHD are the following makinig genetics. Parents and siblings of children with ADHD are two to eight times more likely to develop ADHD than the general population, suggesting that ADHD is highly familial disease. Kap it runs in the blood. That's what it means. So kapag meron sa pamilya mo na meron diagnosed, clinically diagnosed with ADHD, um, may two to eight times more likely na magdevelop yung bata ng anak mo ng ADHD. Environments. According to one study, exposure to secondhand smoke in the home is associated with higher frequency of mental disorder among children. Personality factors. Although there, are, uh, there remains much evidence for the genetic etiology of ADHD, one study indicated that the contribution of personality aspects in combination with genetics may be significant. Once again, these are the causes of your ADHD. Now, let's proceed. Assessment and diagnostic findings. The diagnosis requires the symptoms of ADHD to be present both in school and at home. Furthermore, all patients must have full psychiatric evaluation and physical examination. Ide discuss natin sila isa isa. In terms of laboratory studies, the diagnosis of attention deficit hyperactive disorder is based on clinical evaluation. No laboratory-based medical tests are available to confirm the diagnosis. Walang blood works sa ADHD. It is all what? Clinical evaluation. Meaning, assessment, history taking, observation of the child. All right? Basic laboratory studies that may help confirm diagnosis and aid in treatment are serum CBC count with differential electrolyte levels, liver function tests, and thyroid function tests. Imaging studies. Brain imaging such as functional MRI or single uh, photon emission computed tomography, yung tinatawag natin SPECT, Scans have been re useful for research, but no clinical indication exists for those procedures because the diagnosis is clinical. Once again, in terms of diagnosis, I would just like to reiterate, it is clinical through a clinical evaluation. That's the basis of diagnosing your ADHD. Next, medical management. In terms of medical management, you guys, no one treatment has been found to be effective for ADHD. ADHD is a chronic goals of treatment involved managing symptoms and uh, reducing hyperactivity and impulsivity and increasing the child's attention so that the child or he or she can grow and develop normally. All right? Ito na tayo. In terms of diet... Paano may mamanage yung pasyente mo? Um, terms of food intake. For decades, speculation and folk, uh, folklore have suggested that foods containing preservatives or food coloring or foods high in simple sugars may exacerbate ADHD. Bakit? Kasi sugar is a source of energy. Sa bata, pakainin mo yun ng sandamakmak na candy, tapos na ADHD. Energetic yan, girl. Siguro mga bukas, makalawa pa yan matutulog. In terms of activity, in one study of the effect of physical activity on children's attention, researchers found that intense uh, exercise has a beneficial effect on children with ADHD. The lesson, hayaan mong maglaro yung bata as long as he or she is safe uh, from harm and all. Para naman magamit niya yung marami niyang energy. Tingnan ko lang kung hindi yan talagang 
lupay pay pagdating ng hapon. Okay? So once again, these are the management for your ADHD. Mapapansin, mapapansin mo, yung focus ng management ng ADHD is more of like the lifestyle change. More of like the behavior change, diet, activity. There's no, um, um, uh, there's, uh, there's pharmacological focus or management to it, but the main focus is um, the habits, the behaviors, the food intake, and the activity. All right? So let's proceed. Pharmacologic management. Although healthcare providers, parents, and teachers have hoped for effective therapies and methods that do not involve medications for children with attention deficit hyperactive disorder, evidence to date supports that specific symptoms of ADHD are poorly treated without medication. Ito, isa-isahin natin sila. Stimulants. These agents are known to treat ADHD effectively. Other psychiatric agents, which is selective norepinephrine, reuptake inhibitors have been shown to be effective in the treatment of ADHD. Atypical antidepressants. Recent studies support efficacy of venlafaxamine and bupropion in ADHD. They may have a, slow, a slower onset on action that stimulates but potentially fewer adverse effects. Tricycline antidepressants. Imipramine inhibits the reuptake of norepinephrine or serotonin. At presynaptic neurons, it may be useful in pediatric ADHD. Central acting alpha 2 agonists. Centrally acting antihyper and uh, antihypertensive clonidine and go uh, guanfacine have been used to treat children with ADHD. Inhibition of norepinephrine release in the brain may be the mechanism of action. All right, once again, these are the pharmacologic treatment for your ADHD. Now, malapit na tayo matapos sa discussion natin na ang bilis-bilis lang nito. Nursing management na po tayo. On the following slides, we will talk about your nursing assessment and nursing intervention. Nursing care of a client with ADHD include the following. Ito na tayo. In terms of nursing assessment, you guys. Now, listen. During assessment, the nurse gathers information through direct observation and from the child's parents, daycare providers, if any, and teachers. So more on history taking ito tayo. All right? So what will you will do? You will get history. History of the patient. Parents may report that child is fussy and had problems as an infant. Or they may have not noticed the hyperactivity behavior until the child was a toddler or entered daycare or school. General appearance and motor behavior. The child cannot sit still in a chair and squirms and wiggles while trying to do so. So those are the key points of observation. He or she may dart around the room with little or no apparent purpose. The child may appear immature or lag behind in developmental milestone. Mood and affect. Mood may be labile, even to the point of verbal outbursts or temper tantrums. Anxiety, frustration, and agitation may be common. Sensorium and intellectual processes. Ability to pay attention or to con concentrate is markedly impaired. The child's attention span may be as little as 2 to 3 seconds with severe ADHD or 2 to 3 minutes in middle um, form of or milder form of disorder. All right. So once again, these are the parts of your nursing assessment for ADHD. What are the nursing interventions for ADHD? Patients, sa mga nagtatrabaho sa pediatric ward dyan, ito siya. So nursing intervention for clients with ADHD include the following. Ensuring safety. Very important. Ensuring the child's safety is the topmost priority and that of others. Stop unsafe behaviors. Provide close supervision and give clear directions about the acceptable 
and unacceptable behavior, improving role performance, give positive feedback for meeting expectations, manage environment, example nga po nito, provide a quiet place free of distractions for task completion. Kasi pag mas marami yung distraction ng bata, tapos binigyan mo siya ng task, nilagay mo siya sa environment na marami distraction, may mga sounds, may mga other kids, may mga... Um, what's this? Magulo, maingay, may construction sa tabi. Lalong mahihirapan yung bata sa pag-focus. Remember, ang, ang problema ng ADHD is they, they don't have, uh, yung kanilang attention span is very little. Okay? Next, simplifying instructions. Simplifying instructions and directions get child's full attention. Break complex uh, complex tasks into small steps and allow breaks. Last one, promoting a structured daily routine. Structured daily routine establish a daily schedule and minimize changes, providing client and family education and support. The nurse must listen, uh, listen to parents' feelings, including parents and providing and planning care for the child with ADHD is important. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I hope you learned something. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. Let me know if you have other nursing topics that you want us to do. Comment it down below. Abangan nyo nga po yung next upload natin this coming Wednesday. And that's going to be a lot of fun. Gusto ko lang kayong pasalamatan from the bottom of my heart sa patuloy niyong pagsuporta. Maraming 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 salamat po. We're uh, moving towards 20,000 subscribers. Naku po, pinasasayin niyo po ako. Tulungan niyo na nga po ko. Ipamalitan niyo na sa radyo sa itang pinakabago, pinakafresh, at ang pinakalibring nursing review center sa balat ng YouTube. Spread out the news. Uh, spread? Spread out the news about my channel. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gave except for my TikTok account, which is Neil Gave Official. Follow me on my Facebook page, that is Neil Gave. Everything, all the links to my social media platforms and emails and playlist links, check the description box because it's all in there. I'll see you again next um, Wednesday. I'll see you on Wednesday, rather. Uh, para sa isang panibagong discussion natin. I hope I uh, will see you there and you guys stay safe. Have a good one.